excited. Yeah, I was happy. Did you know this summer that you were going to be able to get out there on the first day of practice? Yeah, because I rehab like every day, three times a day, so I knew I would come back fast, and I was jogging and running on it, so I went through the summer pretty good. What was your reaction when it was a torn Achilles after seeing Jay Hughes being out a year? I mean, I was I was scared. I didn't know how long it was going to be because Jay took like a year, and I didn't know how long I was going to. So I just rehabbed every day, like three times a day, so I knew it. How much you come talk back with Jay with. about this injury? Oh, every day. Jay, uh, he, would, he would leave praying for me, so Jay like a big brother. When did you know that the season was a possibility that you could play in it? Uh, in May, when I like when I started doing the drills on it. I knew I wouldn't be back before the season. Is there any hesitation at all for you coming around to? It was at first when I, in the summer when I was really doing like 7-on-7, seven seven, but now I'm full ago. How tough was it to be out there on the sideline at that bowl game and not be able to get out there and participate after going through the entire season with you guys? Yeah, it was crazy. I was on the scooter, jumping up and down on the scooter. Cause I knew, <laughs> I just knew the play was coming. What's your timeline like coming? I, Dan said you're going to take it slow, but what's kind of your? What, how do you see the, the rest of the fall camp going? Uh, I'm limited on most things, so whatever I can do, I'm gonna do. And I ain't just gonna kill myself if I can't do it. I ain't gonna do it if I so if I'm sore. Like today, I'm a little sore, so. I just might not do it too much. Mm-hmm. During took- spring, most days, you'd be out there, you'd walk out of the field, and you get Deontay or Kevon some tips <laughs> there, and they're like you were getting them ready, but now you're back, and tell them you want your job back. Oh, they know it's, it's a compete. I mean, they, they get on me when I mess up, and I get on them, so it really ain't the job. We just all just combine, so whoever is, just all look at the same. What are your thoughts on Jamal Peters and Mark McLaurin today? Oh, they look good. Jamal look good. He was he looked like he normal back there. Uh, Mark, he looked pretty good. He learned. What was your reaction to their size? I mean, the first time I saw them, they looked really tall, really bigger for a safety. What was kind of your reaction in, regarding their, their just their, their height? Uh, my first thought, I thought they were going to linebacker, but I like <laughs> over the summer, I seen how they, they footwork and how they run. I was like, nah, they're going to stay back here. What can they do using that size? You know, what does a tall safety, what does that allow them to do? They can get in that box and hit, and like in the red zone, they can cover pretty good. You saw in spring, and now you're getting back involved. What do you think Coach Diaz has approached defense? Diaz is going to bring a lot of blitz. He's going to bring a lot of pressure. And he's very excited. He's just like us. He want to be out there coaching and we want to play for him. You talked about Jay being a big brother to you. You've kind of stepped into his role now with all those younger guys. You're the veteran of that group. What, what are you kind of uh, putting on those guys the last few weeks that you've been around them in the weight room and now in the practice field? I don't take nothing for granted. I mean, in play, every play like it's your last play, you don't ever know. Just go hard. Whatever you do, if you mess up, just go hard messing up. You were on last year's team that was number one in the country, and now you know the, the media is picking you guys to finish last in the West. When you see something like that, I mean, describe the feeling, what, what that's like when you see you know, some people saying, yeah, they did that last year, but this year they're, they're going to go back to the last. Oh, I mean, I like it. I, I tweeted it. I, li- I like being last because like, <laughs> I ain't number five nine. Everybody said I couldn't play in this season. So, mm-hmm. I mean, we're going to prove them wrong again. Do you, do you, does it, the rest of the team kind of feel that way too, that, hey, this is a good thing. We're going to use it to our advantage and kind of shock the world again? Oh, yeah. The rest of the team want to be last because they – Got a big chip on their shoulder now.